Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, this is lesson 29, solving radical equations. Keep in mind that while you're doing this, that there's possibility of extraneous solutions. And so always check your answers when you're done. You will get two answers, but will both of those answers make sense? So you always have to check. So here we go. Um, example one, solve the equation six equals X plus the square root of X. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that radical by itself. So if I subtract X over to the other side, I'm going to get six minus X equals the square root of x. So then I'm going to put parentheses around this and we're going to we're going to square both sides. So in squaring this I'll get 36 minus 12x plus x squared and that is going to equal x. So then I subtract x over to the other side. Subtracting x will give me 36 minus 13x plus x squared equals zero. So now we have a quadratic. So I'm going to factor and x times x will give me this x squared. I need factors of 36 that add up to 13. So I come over to the side here and I say, okay, that's one times 36, two times 18. Uh, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. Those are all the factors of 36 if you're multiplying here. We want factors of 36 that add up to a negative 13. So the values are equal, but they're both negative. So these are all negative numbers. Okay, negative times a negative will give us positive 36 and negative nine plus a negative four is negative 13. So it's going to be nine and four. So therefore X equals nine or X equals four. Okay, so like I said before, do not stop there. Check to see if this is true. So go back to the original and check. Six equals nine plus the square root of nine. Six equals nine plus three, six equals 12. No, it doesn't. Check it again. Six equals four plus the square root of four. Six equals four plus two. Six equals six. So my only solution is four. That is extraneous. All right, that brings us to exercises. That was your example. Pause the video, see if you can do these exercises on your own. Come back and check your solutions. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Get the radical by itself. Subtracting one over the other side, we'll get three X minus one equals two root X. Okay. Square both sides. So I'll put this in parentheses, put a squared symbol up here. Put this in parentheses, put a squared symbol up here. And, just, and this is a binomial, so it's going to be 3x times 3x is 9x squared, minus 3x minus 3x, my two middle terms, which would be minus 6x, and negative 1 times a negative 1 is positive 1. So 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals, and we distribute our power here, giving us 4x. Subtract 4x over the other side, we get 9x squared uh, minus 10x plus 1 equals 0. All righty. So here's how I do this type of problem. When a is not 1, I take my a and I multiply it times c. And that will give me x squared minus 10x plus 9 equals 0. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is factor that. 
So factors of nine that add up to 10 is nine and one, and they're both negative. So a negative nine and a negative one will give me minus 10 in the middle and plus nine outside. I divided by this nine here. So now I need to divide it back out or multiply by nine. So I need to divide it back out. So I do divided by nine on both of my answers here. And when it reduces, that's great. That gives me this, but when it doesn't, this denominator goes over to your leading coefficient. So this is going to be nine X minus one and they both equal zero. So the zero product property says to set each, fact, each factor equal to zero. So this X equals one. And in this one, X would equal one ninth. So there are the two solutions. I should have put an or in between. And like always, we should check. In the original, 3x equals 1 plus 2 root x. So 3x equals 1 plus 2 square root of x. 3 equals 1 plus 2 times the square root of 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 times 2 is 2. So therefore, 3 equals 3. So that checks. So 1 is a solution. This is definitely a solution. And now we need to check one ninth. So I rewrite this equation right here, three times my X, okay, equals one plus the square root of my X. So three times one ninth is a third and that equals one plus, and the square root of one is one and the square root of nine is three. Well, we obviously know that one third does not equal four thirds or one and one third. And therefore these are not, that is not a solution. One ninth is extraneous. Okie dokie. And here, let's do number two now. We have an X over here. We wanna get the radical by itself. I'm gonna add X over to their side. So it's going to be X plus three. I just prefer to have the X, it, it, have it in standard form. It could be three plus X, but I just prefer it this way and this will equal four square root X. Okay, don't forget your parentheses here. And don't forget your parentheses here. We're going to square both sides. So X plus three quantity squared is X times X, which is X squared. Middle terms would be three times X twice, which would give me six X and three times three, which is nine equals distribute 16, distribute X, subtract 16 X over the other side, we get X squared minus 10 X plus nine equals zero. We want factors of nine that add up to negative 10. So the signs are the same, they're both negative and it's gonna be nine and one. So X equals nine or X equals one. Okay, that was a pretty simple one. Now we need to check. Three equals four square root, my first answer, minus X. Three equals four times three minus nine. Three equals 12 minus nine. Three equals three. Nine is a solution. Then we do three equals four square root our answer minus our answer. Three equals, the square root of one is one. Four times one is four minus one, three equals three, that checks. So therefore they are both solutions. All right, page two brings us to exercise three. All righty, so we have the square root of X plus five equals X minus one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to square both sides. So if I do this and I do that, then we're going to get the radicand X plus five on the left equals, now this is going to be X minus one times itself, which is FOIL, X times X is X squared, X times negative one twice would be negative two X and negative one times negative one is one. Okay, so I'm going to subtract X and five at the same time. And that will give me zero equals X squared minus three X minus four. So the zero is going to equal X times something or X plus or minus something. So this is minus, so this is going to be positive or negative. 
Factors of four that add up to three would be four and one. So negative four plus one is negative three and negative four times one is negative four. Now I do the zero product property and I get X equals negative one or X equals four. I then check these. So I go square root of my X. Let's do negative one first plus five has to equal negative one minus one. Okay, that's going to be the square root of four equals negative two. Two equals negative two. No, it doesn't. Extraneous solution. Square root of my four plus five has to equal four minus one. Square root of nine equals three. Three equals three. And we have our sole solution. All righty, number four. Um, this one here. This is a positive number. This radical, no matter what I plug in for x, okay? And I, there's restrictions on the domain, obviously. We can't have a negative radical, so x can't be less than, um, let's see, what makes that zero? Negative 7 thirds, okay? And x cannot be less than 8 over here. So I can't get a negative radical. But if I put a number in that makes this positive, Okay, and this is a positive. A positive plus a positive will never equal zero. This has no solution. There's not even any sense in doing this problem. And the other way I could have done this, I suppose. So let me move this down. The answer is the empty set, no solution. But if I subtracted this two, if I subtracted two square root x plus eight from both sides, then I would get the square root of 3x plus 7 equal to a negative 2 square root x plus 8. So this is going to be a negative number, and this is positive, and a negative number equals a positive. The other way to write an empty set is no solution, a zeroth line through it. Okay, no solution. All right, number three, uh, example two. Now I have a radical plus a radical equal to a number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one radical on one side, one on the other. I'm going to subtract the square root of x from both sides, okay? Subtract the square root of x. That's going to go away, and I'm going to be left with the square root of x plus 3 equals 3 minus the square root of x, okay? Then I'm going to square both sides. Be careful. This is a binomial. So I'm going to get the radicand x plus 3 equals and I need to distribute this three here and here. So three squared is nine. No, what am I doing? I do not distribute. Think of this as going like this. Almost made a mistake there. Think of this as three minus square root of X times three minus square root of X. That's what squared means. So I have to do the distributive property or FOIL. Three times three is nine. Minus three root X minus three root X is minus six square root X and a minus times a minus is a plus square root of X times a square root of X is X. If I subtract X from both sides, I get three equals nine minus six square root X. If I subtract nine from both sides, I get negative six equals negative six square root X. If I multiply both sides by negative one, or if I divide, let's just do that, divide by negative six both sides, I get one equals the square root of X. Okay. So when I take this, what makes that one? Well, it's going to be the square root of one. So this X takes square both sides to solve this and I get one equals X. Now I need to check it, the square root of one plus the square root of one plus three has to equal three. The square root of one is one. One plus three is four equals three. Well, the square root of four is two. So one plus two does equal three. So this checks. So my solution is X equals one, okay? Okay, page three brings us to exercise five. So now we have a similar problem to the example. So pause the video. See if you can do these and come back. So here's what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter which one we subtract. I'm going to subtract. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just subtract x plus five over the other side. So I'll have the square root of x minus three equals four minus the square root of x plus five. 
Okay. And then I will put parentheses around this and we will square both sides. So this will give me X minus three on the left equals, and I need to distribute this. So if I get rid of this two here, then I just rewrite four minus X plus five square root, I should say. And here, let's just stick with the colors. All right, so I get this times this. So what's going to happen is <clears throat> four times four is 16 and minus, so minus four square root X plus five minus four would be minus eight square root X plus five in the middle. And then a negative times a negative is positive and X plus five times X plus five is just simply X plus five. Okay, so I'm combining like terms now. I get X minus three equals, I have a 16 and a five, which would give me 21 minus eight square root X plus five plus X, okay? These X's, when I subtract X over the other side, it will cancel. And when I subtract 21, I get negative 24 equals negative eight square root X plus five. Hopefully you followed that. Subtract this X. When you have a number or a variable on both sides, they just cancel. Minus X minus X goes away zero, zero. And I uh, subtracted 21 over to this side, negative three minus 21 is negative 24. And that left just this piece, okay? And now I divide both sides by negative eight and I get a positive three equals the square root of X plus five. Square both sides and I get nine equals, I should show that, nine equals X plus five. Subtract five and therefore I get X equals four. So then I check my solution and I haven't checked that yet. Okay, so if I check my solution now, I take the square root of my X, which is four minus three plus the square root of my X, which is four plus five, that has to equal four. So that's the square root of one plus the square root of nine has to equal four. Square root of one is one, square root of nine is three. And sure enough, four equals four. Okay, so there's number five. <clears throat> number six. All right, we're already set up. All I'm gonna do is put parentheses around here. We have a radical on both sides of the equation. So I'm just going to do this. Three times three is nine plus six square root X plus X equals X plus 81. Okay, so that's doing the distributive property here and the radical and the rat and the square cancel leaving us the radicand. All right, so as I said before, when I have a plus X on both sides, they go away. And if I subtract nine from both sides, I get six square root X equals 81 minus nine is 72. Divide both sides by six and I will get the square root of X equals six goes into seven once, six goes into 12, two. And I square both sides to find my X. So this would be X equals 144. I need to check that. So I'm gonna substitute it into my original. Three plus the square root of 144 has to equal the square root of 144 plus 81. So this is gonna become three plus 12, square root of 144. And eight, four plus one is five. Eight plus four is 12, carry the one. One plus one is two. So I get three plus 12, which is 15, equals the square root of 225, which is also 15, and it checks. So my solution is, X equals 144. All right, and the last page here brings us to less, the end of lesson 29. Review the lesson summary and go do your problem set.